A former Atlanta police business manager says the city fired her after she blew the whistle on how the department bought and used Mayor Kasim Reed's executive protection SUVs. Yeah, Tracy Woodard claims the luxury SUVs were used at times for personal errands by the mayor and his family. In an exclusive interview with senior I-team reporter Dale Russell, Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields says the lawsuit has no merit. Dale? That's what she told me, Russell. We started out with this trying to talk to Mayor Reed about this whistleblower lawsuit. That wasn't easy. His staff later told me there was zero merit to the claim. And then late today, Chief Erica Shields spoke up forcefully, defending both the mayor and the city. Mayor Reed, could we talk to you for a moment, please? When we tried to talk with Mayor Kasim Reed about his executive protection, we got blocked by his executive protection. Can you comment about the whistleblower lawsuit? Dale, can you please that? Yes. Can I stop? One officer even shoved a chair in my path as we tried to ask the mayor about a whistleblower lawsuit that claims the city bought two new expensive SUVs to be used by the mayor and his family. We haven't received the complaint. These are funds that we typically use to purchase patrol cars for the police officers for them to do their job. Tracy Woodard is a former Atlanta police finance manager. She filed the lawsuit. It claims she discovered funds dedicated to purchasing patrol vehicles were used to purchase vehicles for personal use by Mayor Kasim Reed and his family. Officers don't even have decent vehicles to ride in. They can't even do their job. But we got vehicles that, uh, that are used to, for personal reasons. Excessive luxury. I, I just had a problem with, with that. Oh, I don't think that's a fair assessment. This Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields in this exclusive interview says Miss Woodard can't be right because there's no separate police fund to buy just patrol cars. Now, the city doesn't have a pool of money that's set aside for police vehicles. It's money to buy vehicles for the city for all 9,000 employees. Woodard's suit claims she also found APD officers were driving and escorting Mayor Reed and his family on personal errands. I was told what it was used for and the second vehicle was used for the mayor's family. That doesn't surprise Chief Shields. She says, in fact, it is in writing, standard operating procedure for executive protection to take care of the mayor and his family. They're never not his family. He's never not the mayor. So it stands to reason at some point, yes, they will be in a grocery store together. I was devastated. I was devastated. Tracy Woodard says she was fired last year after she questioned the purchase of the two $84,000 vehicles, including upgrades and other financial issues. Not just under the bus, but they backed the bus back over me. I think that when employees get released by their employer, they often are dissatisfied. But Chief Shields believes the lawsuit is without merit and the city will win. She says Tracy Woodard was fired, not for blowing a whistle, but for unsatisfactory job performance. I think that it's unwarranted and we have a disgruntled employee, and, and I'm sorry that we're here having this interview. Tracy Woodard, born here in Bowen Homes Housing Project, first in her family to graduate from college, is unhappy with the firing. But is she sorry she raised spending questions? Yes, because I lost my job, and no, because um, that story need to be told. Now, Tracy Woodard's lawsuit also claims the city misspent federal grant and drug forfeiture money to pay holiday overtime to police officers. She says she reported this as well to the police chief, but again, the city says no merit to this lawsuit, and they're going to fight it. All right. Wow. Well, you made the best effort to talk to the mayor, and his executive protection kind of kind of blocked you along the way there. And, and that's very unusual, Ross. You don't see that very often from anybody's executive protection. I was frankly surprised a little bit. Well, there were a lot of reporters there. A lot of people wanted to talk to the mayor. Everybody had different questions they wanted to ask him. So, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Fair enough, Dale. Thanks very thanks, much. Thanks, Dale.